Welcome back. We can ask ChatGPT to suggest to us a specific process to solve a problem. We can do that in any context. In this video, we're going to focus on a business-related problem. However, you can use ChatGPT to suggest a process for any problem that there is a solution being made available on the internet. What ChatGPT will do is to simplify the solution and put it in plain language instead of asking you to look through all of the individual websites. For example, if we were to look at the query, how to market a self-published book, and we were to go to our favorite search engine as of the recording of this video, we would be able to find a solution. However, it would not be in plain language and we would have to look through the actual websites. You're going to see various improvements being made by search engines. However, you will need to look through the information. The benefit of looking at a search engine is that you'll be able to determine the most reputable sources and the cited information. However, we can look for that same information using ChatGPT to suggest to us a process. Once we write in, we can then click enter and you will then have a process written in plain language. Again, in order to work around the fact that ChatGPT does not cite, we can ask for citations even though those citations will not be specific to the information that ChatGPT actually gave you. And so to complete the task, we can then ask for ChatGPT to give us specific references. And we can now click enter. And so basically, you can solve a process and ask for ChatGPT to give you specific references to verify the information that it gave you. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Hey, this is uh, Chapel North. Thanks again for watching the video. If you'd like to get more videos like this, click the link below this video, and we'll have some more videos for you that you can watch that will teach you how to use uh, ChatGPT for beginners. Thanks again. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.